Whether he likes it or not, Elon Musk is now in charge of Twitter. He's been working off and on throughout the year to purchase the company. At various points, he tried to weasel out of it, pretending that he had issues with bots or something. But no, as of right now, he does actually own the company and that has consequences. Some will be coming over the next few months, but some are already here. The CEO has been fired and the CFO has been fired and the head of legal policy trust and safety is gone. The general counsel is fired and those that's a leadership. But regular workers for Twitter are already being fired as well. Apparently members of a data engineering team have already been booted an entire team of data engineers. These are of course, these are not absolute massive millionaires. These are regular people, but right wingers will greet this news and the news that might come soon. He's promised that he would fire something like 75% of the company. He apparently told investors that they're all wokesters, so they deserve to go. I personally think that they're people struggling to get by in a difficult economy, but best of luck to them as they transition out of Twitter, I guess. And there are other consequences as well. He is apparently very worried and should be that advertisers are not gonna be interested in spending large amounts of money on a site that he is going to do apparently whatever he can to turn into the next parlor or truth social or getter or whatever other right wing social media site exists that people notably have not left Twitter for. And so they're apparently telling people, including a dozen clients of Group M, this is an ad buying agency, saying that particularly if Donald Trump is reinstated, they might pause their ad spending. Elon Musk has not done a ton to try to reassure Twitter users that he has their best interest at heart. But he's already put a statement to try to placate the advertisers saying, that he was buying the company to have a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy manner. He said that Twitter cannot become a free for all hellscape where anything can be said with no consequences. The issue is that his most devoted fans have been supporting him because they want Twitter to be a free for all hellscape where anything can be said with with no consequences. They say he's not ready to make a decision yet on things like reinstating Donald Trump. He says he's gonna be forming a content moderation council with widely diverse viewpoints, which honestly sounds a lot like the status quo, except probably Breitbart will be involved or something. So anyway, there's a lot of moving pieces to this and we don't know how soon major changes to the platform could happen. We can expect that there is going to be more well, for instance, racial slurs already usage of the N word is up 500% from the day before. So that's exciting times. And we'll likely to have more ads and more attempts to milk us for private information, anything that can make money for Elon Musk. So there's a great ironic twist in this story about the Twitter executives that I wanna to get to in a sec. First, on the hellish landscape. Well, look, why do you think the rules exist in the first place? Like the right wing makes this, and this is why I lost a lot of respect for Elon Musk over the last year, right? Because this guy has a reputation of doing amazing things, right? So you can't discount Tesla and SpaceX and all these things that he did, right? So do, and don't be mm. simple minded about it. It's not a black and white issue. I mean, the guy's the richest guy in the world. It took some doing to get there, right? Uh, now that he started with emerald mines, so it's a little bit easier for him than the average bear, but okay, he got there. So, but I give you that as context. But over the last year, he's kind of seemed like an idiot. And so, it, when the right wing goes, oh my God, we need free speech, speech on Twitter, they're discriminating against us. And he's like, oh my God, is that true? Okay, yeah, yeah, we definitely need free speech. Did it never occur to you to ask free speech for what? Like, hey, wait, uh, Twitter is already a hellish landscape. Seems like they got a lot of free speech. What's missing, did he wonder, right? Well, I will tell you what was missing, according to the right wing. Over the top racism, over the top anti-Semitism, calls for violence. All the different things that every social media platform logically came to the conclusion, "Ah, that's really bad. If we allow that, like here, let's take anti-Semitism. Hey, if we allow that and we put Kanye back on and he's saying all these things about you're going a death con three on Jewish people. By the way, the person who attacked Nancy Pelosi's husband today, horrible, over the top anti Semite. Okay, so okay, you let those guys back in. And then next thing you know, there's millions of comments get the Jews, get the Jews. You're gonna really, you're gonna allow that? That's insane. So that's why when 
He talked to advertisers now that he paid $44 billion for Twitter and he needs to make the money back. They're like, yeah, we don't wanna sponsor people saying, go kill black people or Latinos or Muslims or Jews, or even saying outrageously awful things about them. That's a toxic environment and we don't wanna be in that environment. And all of a sudden he's like, oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, I can't say it, but no crap, Sherlock, right? Like, yeah, you didn't know that? You didn't think about that? You thought they just made up arbitrary rules to be, uh, to, uh, to be oppressed the right wing? You believe that talking point? Like the world's dumbest schmucks believe that talking point. No, you look at Twitter, there's massive right wingers that say the most atrocious things and they're all allowed to say it. They just can't say, hey, go kill that guy or let's go get the Jews or let's go get black people, etc. So of course you need those rules. Even True Social and Gabber and Gitter and all those other dumbass platforms, what do they do? They're like, all right, do a free speech, everybody. And everybody rushes in, goddamn Jews, etc. They're like, okay, 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 you can't say that. Mm -hmm. And then people say, all right, goddamn Donald Trump. They're like, whoa, 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 you can't say that. Those guys have more restrictions on speech than Twitter does. Yep. But this idiot paid $44 billion for him. And I say idiot in this context, I'm being fair. He's smart in other contexts, right? Yeah. By the way, he now acknowledges that he paid at least that he paid way too much. Everybody that's reporting on it, and I can guarantee you, being in this industry, I know he paid at least twenty billion dollars too much. And so this is an epic disaster for him. The only reason he agreed to go through with the sales is because they sued him, which is going to bring me back to those executives that sued him in a second. But Jessica. Yes, the bird is freed. I have a question for everybody. <laughs> if there is a bird and a billionaire decides to buy that bird, is that bird now free or is that bird just owned by a billionaire? It's a very simple question. <laughs> uh, That's a great point. Listen, he bought Twitter by leveraging uh, loans against the stocks that he has in Tesla. How did he get Tesla's stock value to go up? He tweeted about it. He tweeted lies that it was going to go private at a certain point, inspiring a bunch of people to buy Tesla. He's lied about Tesla's business plans and their ability to achieve them within certain timelines. He got Tesla to have stock of such high value and him to have such proximity to capital by lying on mostly Twitter. Now he's facing a $258 billion lawsuit for also lying on Twitter about how great Dogecoin is as a cryptocurrency mm -hmm. to get a bunch of people to buy it and to inflate the price then of Dogecoin. He has used Twitter to make himself a ton of money and has used that proximity to capital to amass a ton of power now over the public forum and will no doubt be using that power to influence elections and the dominant narrative in our country. And by the way, if he gets subpoenaed in this lawsuit, He's gonna be subpoenaed, Twitter will be what's subpoenaed. It will be Elon getting subpoenaed for a lawsuit against Elon's actions on Twitter. That's a terrible situation. Yeah, and you could tell that he uh, knew he was gonna lose. He, when you say, hey, I'm gonna lose billions on this purchase while you're making the purchase and you, drew, and you got out of the lawsuit and bought it anyway, that meant you're gonna lose the lawsuit. Okay, there was no question he was gonna lose the lawsuit when Twitter said, no, no, you said you were gonna buy, you have, we have a signed contract, you must buy it, right? And so the other lawsuits, a world of pain for him as well. But look, guys, I wanna come back to the executives. So uh, he fired all of them, the CEO, the CFO, the, the top legal counsel, etc. They're all, and he walked in with a sink and he said, let this sink in. <laughs> He's a child. He's a child. So, look, no, I like I bad jokes. I think he's really funny. I don't. You don't think that he's really, really funny and clever? <laughs> look, no. I live in a dad house, uh, a glass house of dad jokes. Okay, mm -hmm. so I don't care. Go in the sink, have some fun, right? And he and you fired him, and people are like, "Oh no, he fired the executives." What did you think he was going to do? Of course, he's going to fire the executives. Those executives sued him. <laughs> right. They're the ones who made him pay $20 billion too much. By the way, credit to this uh, now the former CEO of, of Twitter, because he goaded uh, Musk to do all of this. Originally, it was him making a comment about Elon Musk who's, uh, that prompted Musk to go, oh yeah, maybe I'll buy Twitter. And Twitter's a hot mess. And that CEO and all the other executives, they had no way of getting out of it anyway, right? And they're like, you'll buy Twitter? Oh yeah, I bet you won't. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, I'll offer you forty-four billion dollars. And they're like, oh my god, he offered forty. Yes, 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 yes. Right. So 
Now when they get fired, they have clauses in their contract that give them golden parachutes. That say, hey, upon a change of control, you must get paid out, right? You know how much the CEO got today? Almost $40 million. Ugh. And get a load of this, he cashes out at the value that Musk paid, but Musk pretty much paid twice what he should have, which he now, as I've said, concedes to. So he, if that guy had gotten normally fired, he would have gotten $20 million, okay? But instead, because Elon's an idiot, He's gonna get paid $40 million. He's like, I go to the dumbass, and then he buys us at twice the value, then he fires me. It's perfect, it's mana from heaven. Right now, he's gotta be at his house high-fiving like crazy. He never has to work again. And <laughs> he's gotta be thinking, man, maybe I should go go, you know, Warren Buffett or something. <laughs> this is working out great for me. No, they're not nearly as unsavvy as Elon Musk. Yeah. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.